So suppose it is given to you, the given grammar is like this. So this is the given grammar. Now if you see carefully, this operation is union operation, right? This operation is concatenation. This is clean closure. And these are the terminals. Okay. So now we have to check whether this grammar is ambiguous or not. So let's try to generate something like A plus B C. Okay, now C. Here A plus B C. So we have to use this production. So we will get something like this R plus R. Now there is B C. So we have to use concatenation production R and R. Right. Now if we expand it to A, this to B and this to C. So we're getting a plus b c right and now we have to uh, now we have to check if we can get more than one pass tree for the same string then this grammar is ambiguous otherwise it is not ambiguous right so let's try to generate that if we use this concatenation now and now we can just expand it to r plus r Right, and now to A, this to B, and this to C. Again, we are getting A plus B C. Here also we are getting A plus B C, and here also we are getting A plus B C. So we're getting same string using different parse trees. So as there are more than one parse tree, so this is also ambiguous grammar. Clear? Now we will see errors and their recovery in lexical analysis what kind of errors uh, detected by the lexical analyzer and how to recover from them how the recovery happens okay so errors and a recovery in lexical analysis So the errors detected, the errors detected, first we will talk about the errors detected in lexical analysis. So first one is when the numeric literals that are too long, when the numeric literals that are too long. that are too long so for example if we have something like this int a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right now as as a system if it takes if it takes two bytes that means 16 bits right if integer if an integer take two bytes that means 16 bits so using 16 bits uh, the maximum number we can generate is 65535 right to restore 16 minus 1 so we can generate this one this maximum number using 16 bits but we are getting bit we are storing this kind of number so that means numeric literals are very long than the limit so here this kind of error will be detected by the lexical analyzer okay this is the first kind of error which can be detected by the lexical analyzer. Now let's see uh, other types of error that can be detected by the lexical analyzer. So if we have long identifiers, if we have a long identifiers, so a regular expression can define the maximum length an identifier can take, right? So if we give the name of an identifier like functions, variables so if we give the name of the functions or variables or any identifier more than the limit more than the limit then it will find out that error okay so long identifiers that means uh, the function name or the identifiers name if we give them more than the limit 
then it will find out these kind of errors who will find out lexical analyzer will find out okay then we have ill formed ill formed numeric literals numeric literals for example if we have something like this int a dollar one two three something like this right so as as dollar does not fall into integer right does not fall in integers so it will find out this kind of error as well clear now the fourth kind of error fourth kind of error that can be detected by the lexical analyzer is if the input characters if the input characters are not in the source language are not in the source language right uh, for example if a compiler is de designed for english language if a compiler is designed for english language and you are giving some chinese character so that kind of error will be detected by the lexical analyzer clear so these are the general errors which can be detected by the lexical analyzer lexical analyzer now we will see uh, the error recovery what kind of errors you know can be recovered by the lexical analyzer so sometimes our compiler try to rectify it okay so now we will see error recovery error recovery by the lexical analyzer clear so first is first is delete first is delete so suppose uh, there are some unknown characters are deleted also called as panic mode recovery so for example if we have something like char so it will be corrected as char and it will delete suppose if we have char it will delete single r right it will delete this so these kind of these kinds of error can be recovered by using lexical analyzer clear so what other kind of error can be recovered using a uh, lexical analyzer let's see that so suppose if we have so other one is insert suppose uh, an extra or missing character is inserted into a to form a meaningful token so for example we have something like this c c h a so it will be corrected as char so it will insert r okay so these kinds of error can be recovered by the lexical analyzer now third is transpose third is transpose so based on certain rules we can transpose two characters so for example if we have something like this so it can be corrected to this so it is based on some certain rules okay and fourth one is replace okay so based on replacing one character by another okay suppose we have something like this so it can be it can be corrected to this okay so it will replace r with it will replace r with a okay so now make a note if it is not able to correct any error other than this then it will throw an error and the line number in which the error is present okay and then we can correct it manually okay so these kinds of error recovery can be done by the lexical analyzer okay so in the next session we will discuss uh, ambiguous grammars and how we can make ambiguous grammars to unambiguous grammars okay